and gentlemen, and welcome to the high school Star League League of Legends Spring Season. These are the group stages, and this is the match between Hazen High School and Glen Eagles Secondary School. I'm your caster, Crusader Kitten, here with Shorty Race, who is the team captain of Jackson High School, the second place team from our HSL Winter Championships. And, dude, are you serious? Second place is worse than last place. <laughs> My heart hurts. <laughs> oh, All right, well. <laughs> anyway, back into this game here. Hazen High School versus Glen Eagle Secondary. What do you What are you seeing in these team comps so far? Take the picks from Hazen High School. All their champs are really strong individually. I especially like the Morgana and Caitlyn though. It's really safe, especially against uh, Leona Lucian. Yeah. Leona won't be able to get engaged on Morgana unless Morgana burns shield early. Yeah, so looking over at early positions from these teams, it looks like it's going to be a standard line of scrimmage, you know, what we normally see uh, unless people are going for those 4v1 tower pushes, but you don't usually see a lot of that in the uh, more amateur scene, that's a lot like challenger scene, EU scene, but not I'm, so I'm so surprised right now. I'm surprised, I was, I was expecting one team to four man invade and just yeah. 4v1 a tower top. Well, but really, I'm surprised they have Oh hey, they have a Kale jungle. It's yeah. kind of I haven't seen that before. I wonder what, how I will do this game against Lee Sin, That's who's really actually, strong early game. He actually started with a pink ward as well. I wonder where he's gonna place that. Wait. Yeah. That's yeah cool. oh, he places. What? He just places that as a, maybe he's possibly looking out for a red engage. I feel like he thinks Lee Sin's gonna level two him at his red, but he's starting red, so it doesn't matter as much. It could happen. Kale is a pretty risky jungler, but I know you do know a bit about uh, Hazen High School and a few of their players, so what do you think of their team? I feel like if they get Tempting going, their mid lane, that they will do really well. Oh, the harass going out to Ziggs <laughs> with Distortion. Yeah, already starting this harass, and you know, it's a pretty aggressive middle lane, is, especially you know, Ziggs, he has a long range advantage. Uh, later in the game, LeBlanc will have a lot of the burst going for it here, so... I really think this game will turn out depending on how each jungle does. Kale did start with a, le a lower amount of potions, so it, it might be harder for her to sustain the jungle. How many potions do you start with, too? That's actually, the, hold on, middle lane, we're seeing some damage coming out. LeBlanc and Ziggs really starting to trade here. And top lane as well, Jackson Renekton going at it, flashing in the last auto attack, comes in the ignite, does pick up the kill. First blood does go over to Hazen High School up in that top lane. I think Jax got level 2 and just all in him. That's crazy. Yeah, and was able to pick up a kill, so having that kill to start out this game, definitely going to be nice for him. We'll see how this does. Do you think uh, Jax will be able to just scale into the late game now at this point? If if Jax gets all those creeps to his tower, I feel like he'll be able to snowball off that because Renekton's going to be missing a lot of farm since he didn't take teleport. You see him? Same with Jax. Jax didn't take yeah. teleport either though. Hmm. Yeah, so other than that, nothing too much coming out. Looking over at these junglers, you would definitely expect, I think, an early game coming out from Lee Sin. Kale. Not as much, and it's kind of interesting when we think about Kale looking for a gank. She would need some heavy CC laners really to support herself because she only has the slow, she has a speed buff, and she does have a lot of damage but doesn't have any hard CC. Well, since the new Feral's item came out, I feel like Kale Jungle got a lot stronger due to the attack speed and the passive, which gives 100 extra damage. A lot of champions got a lot stronger through Feral Flare. I hate Feral Flare. Oh, yeah, you know that least, uh, no, the Master Yi jungle? Oh, yeah, yeah. So yo, yo. Smite? Oh, God. Nerf Ferals, please. <laughs> they did, though. They made it, what, 30 instead of 25? Make it, like, 50, so I don't have to deal with that anymore. <laughs> yeah. Please, Rito. Are, are you not a fan? You're, you are a jungler, so do you not throw Feral Flare? I like playing Elise, not I like playing Elise. Oh, hold on, bottom lane, but the damage coming off. There's the aggression coming off from the Leona, really putting some damage on the Morgana. It's just going to be an even trade, or not an even trade, but just a trade coming up. There's no kill so far, but a lot of damage. Dang, that Lucian really knows how to use this piercing light. He's been getting so much harass onto Dango S2 throughout this game. Bot lane's really feeling a lot of pressure. And if he burns Black Shield just randomly, Leonic will probably be able to secure a kill on Morgana. Yeah, so. Early item by his coming in. Jax picking up that first blood does go back to base. 
Picks up another Doran's Blade and a Long Sword. So he is looking for possibly a little bit more early game trades with that. He probably will. I mean, he, he's already had an erection. He's trying to push his lead even further. And Jax doesn't really have the strongest early game, but when he hits, he wa he just wants to hit six. And when he gets yeah. six, he's gonna be bullying Renekton down the lane. Renekton already has to farm golems just to keep up. Yeah, so and we play. see Kale coming in top lane. Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna be able to do this. Yeah, Renekton's already pretty low here. It's gonna be pretty risky. It actually looks I, I like, think yeah. Yeah, like, uh, that's kind of scary. Yeah, Kale goes ahead and backs out. Definitely, Just, Jax could possibly 1v2 these guys, especially because no, they don't have either of their ultimates yet. Dude, I hope he dies this. Hope he I, like dies. So I hope they die. Yo, I want to see Jax die. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's a very risky for him. Let's have either of his summoners up yet. And if Renekton hits level 6, that'll be very difficult. Then, I like watching crazy, oh, crazy top oh, Leeson, players. Leeson found the pink white. So that pink white lasted 6 minutes. So I guess uh, it was worth it. I don't think it really prevented any game, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was useful though, at least, well, they had the, they had the benefit of knowing someone wasn't in that area. I, I feel like they had a plan with that, but I'm not sure what it was. I'm, I'm sure it was put to good use. Yeah, so, while man harass keeps coming out, actually, the end up getting pretty low, but top lane, there's a gang you were looking for, at least it has come up here for a top lane dive. Jack's getting low though, he tanks a few tower shots, looks like he is able to live. And they actually have to back out because Renekton is able to survive that dive and he does not go down. Dang, Renekton didn't really play that well. He was able to slice and dice away from the Lee Sin Q and got out. So he bas he wasted Lee Sin's time and almost sent and sent Jax back. So he was able to get free farm in the lane. And even if they did try to kill him, Kale would have been able to clean up because she's just coming in. So middle lane, we're actually seeing a lot of damage coming out of Tempnim here onto x -Nest. There's a Mega Inferno Bomb, Drop Barrier coming off, Cologne proc from LeBlanc. He's walking <laughs> away, will be able to live. I like the way he's using his clone. He's using his clone to tank the bombs. <laughs> yeah, I was able to survive and uh, got out of there, but a lot of aggression in that middle lane coming out from these two guys. Who do you think this lane is going to favor? I think this lane's going to favor Ziggs, but... I really, I don't know why he went Sork Shoes first, but he's not gonna have, I think he's, I wonder where he's going actually. It depends on what item the bunker is. I wonder, I wonder what he's gonna go for, like, actually, like, DFG, Athenes. I've seen a lot of CDR block builds lately. Yeah. And I feel like Ziggs will have the stronger harass, especially when he gets blue buff, but LeBlanc can always try to 100 with Ziggs. And actually, do you think these two middle laners are going to start looking for some roam? Uh, obviously, the block gets a lot of snowballing, especially if she goes to other lanes. To be honest, I'm, ex I'm, I'm expecting a block just from top lane. I mean, top lane is, is really behind off, off early game. And Renekton missing too much CS. So he's going to be able to keep up in level. I mean, in just farm in general. So. But... Just really passive play overall. Leeson hasn't been looking for many ganks mid lane after he cleared the pink. Yeah, he might be going into middle lane now, but he might be caught by a ward. Bottom lane, Solar Fair did come down. Didn't come for any kills though. Kill and you see, for a gank. you see Kale rotating up towards the left side just because he saw Leeson through a ward. Yeah, and Leeson is stealing away some of that jungle, and they have a lot of vision here in the jungle for the side of Glen Eagle secondary. Really have put down these wards, uh, especially just along the top lane jungle area. I feel so bad for Leeson right now. Yeah, I feel like, like can't find a gank. There's so many wards on the map for him to be able to get a safe gank off. They have really good ward control though, on the side of Glen Eagle. Bottom lane, there's the first tower of the game. Nightman Sin Flash in actually coming out for Morgana. Flash away from Lucian, gets exhausted as well. Does get stunned out, but Kaylin isn't there to follow up. There's a Zen Plague coming out from Leona. She'll go ahead and back out, but... And, and we see Kale roaming down from the yeah, tri -bush. hold on, middle lane, there's a lot of damage coming out between these two guys here. Ziggs is getting in, flashing, goes up the tower, gets hit by Megan for the ball, and the tower shots come through. Here's the bottom lane damage coming out, the gank coming in from Kale gets the kill onto Morgana. And it looks like Kaelin will be able to escape, and two kills coming around across the map. 
And actually top lane we're seeing aggression as well as once again Jax is able to find the kill onto Renekton. That's going to be a 2 for 2 overall around the map. That was really played on both sides. Um, Zix was able to hit his Mega Inferno Bomb on LeBlanc while she's getting, while she's diving him. Yeah. And it was able to pick up the LeBlanc kill for a 1 for 1. So it wasn't that bad of a trade for him. And also, Bot secured a kill as well, which is really good. Yeah. And it was really just Morgana overextended there, flashed in with the ultimate, trying to get onto Lucian. Didn't have the follow up from Caitlyn, so Lucian got away, and then Kale was just there to roam down, and they couldn't get back to the tower fast enough and got quickly taken down. So, gotta be careful of Kale because she will get to the point where she's gonna start shredding people down. She does have that Wriggles. We'll be starting up on getting those stacks in. And we see Kale hovering on mid lane. I wonder what's gonna happen right here. There's no wards from LeBlanc. But the Lucian is also clearing the dragon pick ward, which is really good. They can keep taking control of dragon right here. Yeah, so top lane, 2-0 Jax has the Bolt Rider Cutlass now, which is this kind of the obvious item build coming out for him. Bolt Rider Cutlass into a Trinity Force, and possibly into a defensive item, depending on what he wants to go for. Both bottom lane is 80 carries. They've gone for the BF Swords. And the Victor Acceptors, and actually bottom lane looks like we might see a gank coming off. There's a soul fair going down. Looks like it will be turning around onto Morgana. It does go down. And it'll be Lucian with the kill. And that that had both junglers there, but it was just Glen Eagle secondary that were able to lock it down and get the kills. And Glen Eagle right there was able to get the gauge they wanted. Hazen High School just letting them walk get walked all over by Leona and Gage. Yeah, this is really good. Weren't expecting that, I don't think. They were, you know, in the side brush, I don't think they were going to check it or, or thinking of it at all, actually. In the lane, once again, some damage coming off LeBlanc, really picking up in this harass, but the dragon will be coming in for Glen Eagle secondary. It's even played over the wall from Leona, decides to walk away, but there's the first dragon of the game going over to Glen Eagle. But top lane, looks like you might be getting a tower here for Hazen as uh, Jax is pushing in. And we see three of Glen Eagle's teams are pushing down mid. Maybe they're gonna go for the tower siege since the lock's really low. I wonder if they're gonna try to kill it right here. Yeah, oh. they're actually gonna be flashing. Renekton tries to get in there, does pay for it, can't pick it up. And now we'll be actually chasing it. The, he did get nice. the kill though. The nice. And now the the ultimate ultimate away. And now there's a kill ultimate coming out. Beeson dies and flashes away, gets the kill, does go down the kill, but the tower shots are coming oh in. My. Picks up a double kill for the Lee Sin. And they trade that one. Two for two in the middle lane. Actually, Ziggs might be in trouble as well. Caught up between Morgana and Caitlyn. This will surely be a kill. Get the Satchel charge backwards. Jax jumps in there for the assist. Now you're able to secure a two for three exchange. Both teams are playing so aggressive. Oh my god. Renekton flashed in for the Ignite and ended up paying for it by yeah. baiting Kill in, using making him use all use intervention on him. And even though he was like invulnerable, he he died in the end because of the patience from Lee Sin. Yeah, Lee Sin was able to jump in right there right at the end. Almost got away from Kale, did go down, but still traded out the kill, so gets a double kill for himself. Now picking up in Spirit of the Elder Lizard, so just kind of the aggressive, more aggressive build coming out from him. Do you think he's actually going to opt to go for an aggressive build or a more tanky build? Kale? Lee Sin. Lee Sin. Lee Sin? I feel like he's going to go for a more tanky build since they have Jax, which yes. is their carry. And we see a lot of aggression mid lane. Yeah. Oh jeez. She's taking so much poke. Yeah, I think, I think the build for kill just kind of goes without saying. It's going to be aggressive. He has a Berserker Greaves already. Dude, I'm 100% sure that's a Nasher Tooth. He's going to go like Nasher Tooth Lich Bane. <laughs> yeah, you got to get the... Well, that just kind of synergizes into the more magic damage on your auto attacks. and. I hope he builds Gwyneth's Rage Blade. That is so broken. Well, we'll see if he can actually get into that point because that's uh, quite a few items he'd have lined up to build. Trust. Uh, <laughs> They already, I mean, they have the tank line of Leona and Renekton, so they can be, they can have this aggressive jungler going or going for the more offensive build. 
And that's what uh, he's right. going for, but their tank's obviously not doing too well. Renekton 1 3 and 1 in his lane, and he's pretty behind on CS. I'm really surprised mid lane actually that Ziggs is getting bullied by a block, which, and Ziggs is like one of the strongest lane bullies in the game when he gets blue buff. But he's not even getting blue. Oh no, he is. Okay. It looks like Kale is about to take it, but she'll give it over. Bottom lane though, tower will be going down. This will be the first tower of the game for Glen Eagle secondary. It's 3 to 1 though in favor of Hazen. Hazen also has a, a round 2000 gold advantage, so tower is starting to fall across the map. Dang. He just has so much control over the map right now with all those towers. And there is, once again, damage in the middle lane. I think this is just going to be the story of the middle lane as you see it. And actually, bottom lane. Oh my god, that cap. Yeah, once Wonder again, they're, they're looking for this engage from the side brush, but Hazen High School, they're having none of it. Kaylin and Emma just taking away double buffs, so that's going to be an uh, unsuccessful attempt at the game. Then Eagle is really trying to take advantage of Leona's hard initiation. Yeah, but aren't able to get any of it, so it will be unfortunate for them. Hazen High School still have this lead, a lot of it in objectives as well. Kale keeps putting that pink word in that brush, which keeps getting taken out, so. Yeah, Probably Hazen High School really have that lead. Yeah. So do you think uh, they're going to continue with laning phase, or do they want to start grouping up now? I feel like Jax is just getting free farm top lane. Even though there's a Renekton lane, he's just getting he's just scaling so much better than Renekton right now. I hope I think he's probably going to up towards a Trinity Force next. Yeah. But when he gets to that next item, he's going to be able to duel at least two, and, and force a lot of pressure top lane this game. Like right now, I don't think anybody can duel him. Yeah, definitely not. He might require like a gank coming out there, but then again, it would just mean Glen Eagle Secondary would have a lot of pressure coming out from Hazen High School as they can just push in for a tower or something, which is, it looks like that's what they're going for here. Four people grouping in the middle lane from Hazen High School, and Jax will be split pushing up top. Hazen's just grouping up right now. I wonder how they're going to do against Ziggs with blue buff. Yeah, definitely a little bit difficult to wave clear, but they do have Morgana who's pretty decent at wave clear. Caitlyn as well, she does have the AoE from the Pilter or Peacemaker, but definitely will be very difficult to wave clear against the Ziggs as we're I, seeing. I feel like they just want to get a Dark Binding and just try to get a pick off, because yeah. LeBlanc has Deathfire's Grass right now, so that'd probably be the most optimal thing they could do in this situation. And Hazen High School, they might just be delaying here, because Jax is putting some decent damage up on this top lane tower. Nace might be letting him get that. Oh, okay, Leona oh. goes low, gets the ultimate onto herself, but the Ignite is ticking down. It is not going to be enough to pick up the kill. She does survive with barely any health right there. The intervention just barely saved her right yeah, there. But this means top lane, Jax is pushing in the tower, and with no support, engage support in the middle lane, we're going to be seeing a lot more pressure coming out from Hazen High School. Top lane tower does go down. Uh, Jax picks it up. He might be going for some aggression onto J Renekton now. Gets the stun going down. Dominus gets popped. He's looking to back out away from this one. Or he wants to keep trading. He needs to make up his mind. Looks like we'll be backing up because Kale is coming up here for the <laughs> gang. There's the one and four jump. What a play. <laughs> but it looks like he might just be the fast change. enough to get away. He has the tier two boots. So does Renekton. But he's still just fast enough. We'll back out of there. We'll get out. And this means... Hazen High School can also rotate down and pick up Dragon. Yeah, that Jax pressure, it really shows you how hard Jax can outscale top lane. Yeah. I mean, like, he was able to send two top lanes, so they were able to get a free Dragon off that, which is really good for them. Yeah, especially because they sent the jungler up top lane to try to deal with him. Didn't even they... get the kill and then just lost the Dragon, so really unfortunate. And we see Glen Eagle just sieging mid lane, but the wave clear coming out from the distortion and mimic from Temp Name. Yep, so it looks like Glen Eagle secondary looking to just reapply some pressure here onto the lane. The bug's really low right here. Yeah. I mean if he takes a bouncing bomb and a Mega Infernal, he's gonna die. Well, there's a colon coming out, won't be enough here. There's a Mega Infernal <laughs> bomb, it's doesn't it's not gonna hit. Either. And LeBlanc is backing really low here. Leona goes for a solar flare, gets the kill though with the solar flare. 
And now they're gonna be looking for a lot more pressure, but Jax is actually coming in from behind, gets the kill off the six. Now looking for some illusion, he's taking the whole enemy team, and he's able to live. Renekton tried to get out of here now, so he will be going down. Regano went down as well, a double kill coming up for Jax as Renekton goes down. Caitlyn Lee Sin chasing after Flash is coming out from these guys. Builds over Peacemaker, there's a double kill coming out for Lee Sin. Leona turns around, gets taken out. It's a triple kill. For Jack, the double kill for Lee Sin. They pick up the A's. Hayes in high school 20 minutes into this game. And that really shows you how ahead Hayes in high school is right now. LeBlanc wasn't able to get any damage off on the enemy team, but yet they were able to sweep them right there for the A's. And yeah. that puts them even more ahead. And they might get mid tower off this as well. Yeah, and just Jack's jumping in there instantly took down Ziggs tanked up most of the enemy team and he didn't even die for yeah, it he didn't even die from it no one they died wait no, they take blue buff as well they take blue buff as well yeah. oh wow just adding insult to injury the denying blue buff <laughs> from Ziggs is really big which will yeah. affect their wave clear a lot yeah and, so and maybe Hayes and Heskel can siege a lane now off this blue buff skill yeah so I think a pretty big part of that failed team fight from Gwen Eagle secondary was the use of solar flare to get a kill, but it didn't. They didn't. They went. They didn't. They didn't have it for. In actually engaging yeah, on the enemy team. Engaging, which is. But also, Jack just went crazy right there. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that was that was insane. Yeah, he was he able is... to take down three at least. Five zero and two. He's uh he's pretty fed. I, I think he's happy about this game already. Yeah, building up to that Trinity voice is uh. Really, he's really going to be a scary factor in this game. Caitlyn as well, she's getting far enough. 192 CS, most CS in the game. A little bit off the 10 CS per minute mark, but close enough, I think, here. She has definitely taken some lead in terms of uh, gold gain for a team. It's 5,000 gold in favor of Hazen High School. Really going to be starting to look scary. I wonder what Hazen High School is going to opt to do right here. Maybe set up some words around Baron? Oh, uh, or get ganks off gank. onto this top lane. There's a ward jump, a little bit delayed, but he did get uh, almost max range ward jump, I think. And now he's gonna be taking some damage here, but he does have Lee Sin to help him off. Jumps over to Lee Sin, gets the buddy jump. Looks like he might be wanting to go and for the dive. So Over coming off, they might be able to get the first kill. The Jax gets the shutdown, but nothing gets it. Lee Sin goes down as well. And they dive under that tower to pick up the kill. Shut down. Going over to Leona for Lee Sin, but here is LeBlanc looking for some damage, gets it onto Renekton, who has to back out this, there is the binding under the tower, intervention comes off to try to save Leona, she wants to go back in, heal coming up, she does go down to LeBlanc, and LeBlanc is able to escape, and now, oh, oh my god, this game is so back and forth, <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't even get the tower out of that, I was so yeah. sure they are going to take the tower off those two kills. Yeah, a lot blown there from both teams, and they finally did shut down that Jax, though. Which is obviously something they're pretty proud about. Oscar shut down to Lee Sin, but did lose Leona in the process. Not the worst loss, I guess. And that Leona engage worked really well. That Solar Flare hit both yeah. targets and was able to stun both of them. And Xena play just shut them down, and they got the Q kills off that. Yep, so... Item is coming out. It's looking pretty standard for most guys, I believe. There's Mikhail's on Morgana, which is obviously really important. They don't have the double heal going, obviously. It's not as good anymore, but yeah, the Mikhail seal, if they need it, which they do need because Yona has a lot of lockdown. You, know, you never know when you'll need that. She has you know, the black shield to add on. <laughs> yeah. The recall, oh, not being stopped. Tried. So close. But, right. yeah, the black just, shield, and then you can also McHale as a person, so you can pretty much just make it really difficult to CC somebody, and definitely do need that for Caitlyn, most likely. I, I, feel, I feel like he's gonna black shield Jax, and black Jax is gonna go unstoppable on all of them. Yeah, that <laughs> a Jax that can't be CC'd, I don't know about that. <laughs> that. That sounds kind of broken. Just a little bit. It's like, we take... A champ that can 1v5 you, and <laughs> give it CC. CC list. I was, thinking, I, was, I was thinking like, oh, we take like Nocturne Spell Shield and Service Spell Shield. Then I realized I would take like two of his core abilities and he would probably suck. Yeah, I don't think that'd be that great. <laughs> but he, he'll have the Black Shield so he's immune to spells. And he'll have his Counter Strike so he's immune to auto attacks for a while. And then he gets the AOE stun going, so obviously 
really scary, and we saw him perform in the past fights, and just scary is all you can really say for it. Chain of Force has been built up, and here's a dragon coming out. Looking for an engage, Megan in front of him whips. There's the engage coming off the and trying to dive in here. There's Jax trying to get onto the back line as well. Turns on to Kale, looking for some damage. Morgana does go down, but they're chasing after Lucian. Jax is able to pick up the kill. He's so far in, but he has a team to help follow up. Gets the double kill, oh gets the triple kill. God. And now they're chasing after Ziggs. This could be another ace coming off. Another one for five ace coming in. A triple kill for Jax once this again. Oh Hayden my god, this is a bloodbath. This is a bloodbath. Yeah, just coming out big. Dang, I mean right there, Dango was able to get the four man Morgana all, which was able to hold all of Glen Eagle down. And Caitlyn just sold the Ziggs, which is really good. They they just sh shut him out that fight. Yeah, so, uh, Tower went down. Looks like middle lane Tower will be going down as well. And this an is eight. An ace, a dragon, and a tower. Two what more towers. can they want here? An ace, a dragon, and two towers. No, oh my god. Go the the solo oh, kill? Oh, look at Jax, he's diving under the tower for Illusion. He's taking the tower shots. He picks up the kill. Oh my god. But oh, this, this will be very crazy. difficult for them to escape. He's trying to turn out the Ziggs. Or he might just be looking for an escape here. Leona <laughs> shows up, gets the sun, gets another shutdown. <laughs> That's two shutdowns she's gotten. So she's like, that guy's crazy. Oh down. my god. <laughs> Getting these shutdowns, but Jax, I think, is the crazy one. I think we're talking about diving under that tower, picked up the kill onto Lucian, and did pay for it. He actually goes for a blasting wand. So, wait, no, no, he refunded, he refunded yeah. that. I was gonna say, Gwyn Seuss, maybe Gwyn Seuss Jax. Gwyn Seuss. Oh gosh, that's yeah. scary. He goes for a nearly large rod. What is, is he going even... Sonya? <laughs> that is that's why even... grass. That's even more interesting. Um, Deathfire yeah, Grasp I, is kind of. I, I, tr I trust. I trust. I guess Sonya is. He wants more of like just not taking damage. Uh, he's not side. refunding it. He's not refunding it either. Oh, God. He's he's out of base. He's locking that in. Oh so, God. I mean, I wonder. So... I wonder okay. what made him decide to go for the Zanyas. Yeah, I will assume it's the Zanyas, but I think there's good reason to believe it's the Zanyas Hourglass because you know if he gets a Black Shield, he's immune to spells. If he has the counter strike, he's immune to auto attacks. If he uses the Zanyas, he's immune to damage of any sort for 2.5 seconds. And actually, Renekton might be caught out here. Binding does land over the wall. They're gonna get onto him here. He does flash over the wall. Flash as well from LeBlanc picks up the kill. That will be a pickoff. And would that mean Baron or would that just mean more pressure coming out? Bottom lane, we're seeing the push coming out from, Glenny, uh, from Hazen with Jax pushing down bottom. And actually, gonna it still... looks like it is possibly Baron. You can't tell on the uh, map. You have to I, I, don't, I don't think Hazen can see Kale right here going back, so... They don't know, they're sending it back to the jungle. But Jax, yeah. Jax is pressuring Bottling so yeah, hard. Yeah, sending four men of Glen Eagle secondary to deal with this Jax here. We'll see if he can get out of this one. This will be very difficult for him. Definitely his hardest task. Yeah, there is a lot of damage coming up. Mega Freedom on this is solo play as well. Three ultimates blown to pick up the kill. And Hazen High School is able to pick up the Baron in response. Worth, I guess? <laughs> in Worth we trust? Yeah, that means three ultimates now. Definitely gonna be nice to them. Obviously, they don't have the longest of cooldowns, but they can... Hazen can definitely start looking for some more pressure. I mean, Jax is already pretty strong. So, he doesn't necessarily need the Baron. He, though, he, the he went Zanyas. He, he went Zanyas. Oh, he went to Zanyas! I wonder what what's his region for that, actually. Huh? I wonder why he wouldn't go like randoms or something. Yeah, it's really interesting that he didn't go for one of the more standard items. Obviously, I guess AP works out for him. He does have some AP scaling. What if he? What if he Zanya's the solar flare? <laughs> oh gosh, that would, well then, that's pretty much still being stunned because then the enemy team can catch up to him. But well, he's not gonna take damage, you like... know. <laughs> the enemy team is like the enemy team. We can like surround him in that time, so it may not be the best. That'd be pretty funny. What if he pulls the Messiah and just jumps into the enemy team and what Zanyas? Just, what if he? What if he mid jump he Zanyas and we have like a golden Jack statue? Maybe. Swag, swag. Yeah, like it's like this. This is for the style. Like he won't be able to like land the jump and possibly engage and get a kill, but at least he'll have swag, which is obviously the most important uh, thing about swag, anything swag, in life, swag. right? Just style, like swagger, swagger style. style. Oh yeah, so <laughs> swagger. We're gonna call him the swagger now. Oh, uh, the swagger. So. We're going to be seeing Push in the middle lane, Hazen High School. 
looking to get on to this inhibitor tower. Bottom lane inhibitor, I'm not sure if it's if it's exposed now. We have that barren replay bug where we don't see towers, and some towers are up, but they may not be, so I'm not too certain. And actually, it's, def it's definitely not, it's definitely up right now, because six towers are down for the side of Hazen, so they have all the outer towers, but have yet to breach an inhibitor tower, but that's what they're looking for here. Grand buff up. I wonder how the fight's gonna start off because. Yeah, oh, my base right. be starting with the Blanc going in. He's on the edge. Jackson's on the wall with Lee Sin. They get locked in the solo flare, both of them, though. Ja There's the sound that's coming up from Jackson, but he is solo. He comes back up. He goes back down. Regana goes down as well. Lee Sin was able to escape, and now Caitlyn's in trouble. And I don't think she can escape from this one. Flashes over the wall. Does get the 90 caliber net away. And actually, I eat my words there. She does escape using her gap closers, but. Morgana and Jax following as Leeson and Jax just jumped the gun right there, got caught up in the flare, and now this means Glen Eagle secondary can make some push onto this middle lane. It's gonna be really hard for Hazel to engage these fights. If they try to engage, the other's just gonna counter engage with the solar flare and possibly stun up to two to three like they did yeah. last fight. And, and they have a lot of appeal. I mean, they have the ultimate coming off from Kale, which can pretty much stop from bursting any down anybody. And though, <laughs> there's Hogma out first, there's a block trying to get in there, instantly gets taken out. And the tower does go down. Glen Eagle secondary pick up two kills and the tower. And a DC. Uh, DC. Are we going to see a pause here? Uh, 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 no, he's, <laughs> I mean, it's only DC, but he's still like moving around, so. And he's still, he's starting to auto attack great, so actually, I don't think. He really DC. That was like a one second DC. That's the fake DC. The fake DC. Wow. It's a, it's yeah, a bait. Don't worry about it. Bait. <laughs> oh, Too bad yeah. every team can't see DCs anymore, or else that didn't work. Oh gosh. That would be a pretty legit strat. Alright, so we see Hazen High School going for the dragon. They're probably just gonna secure this. There's nobody on Glen Eagle to stop this. So this is another. This is another thing. Is this their third? Third or fourth, I think. It's, it's something. They definitely have more dragons than Glen Eagle, though. And they have a lot more like, other objectives as well. Has Glen Eagle even got a dragon this game? I believe like, uh, memory, My memory is bad on that. I, I think, I think Hazen just got four dragons this game and a Baron, yeah. which is really big. They're ahead in objectives by so much. Yeah. They're really ahead in those objectives. They have a Snowball in Jax, who just picked up another defensive item. He's going for the... He's going for He's QSS. Not. He's going for QSS. He can't build normal items. <laughs> First, the Zanya. <laughs> now he's going to go Mysterial Sim Shimitar. Yeah, oh, so you want yeah. him to be even more invincible and this time to some CC. He'll, he'll just remove all the debuffs. Like, See, this Zanya? Is like, this is like my game plank build where I went game plank and I went like Spirit Visage and I went like. I went 20%. I went 20% CDR at level 1. So then I could get like 40% CDR like with the Spirit Visage. And then I went I for Mikhail's Crucible, <laughs> and then I just had a bunch of heal. I also have to heal Summer as well. So I just had like 3 heals. And it didn't work out though. And yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> 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 I, have, like, I have like Spirit Visage just like bumping up my heals. And like, I, I, I ran away from Renekton from like the middle of top lane, like where the laners would meet. Like all the way back into my base, and I still ended up dying. It was, it was pretty sad, but... You're a maniac, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was, it's got, you got the three heals on Spirit Message, dude, you're just like, you're just not dying for a long time. In invincible, in Jack, in, in Gangplank we trust. <laughs> oh, it was, uh, it was an interesting build. Uh, I was just trying out new things, okay, just don't judge me. Dang, and he's been going for the 4-1 split push, yep. Jack really wants to get that inhibitor. Yeah, once again, I mean, this is, it's... Something they can pretty easily do. The mo most of the team for Hazen is really strong, especially from Jack. He's only need the kills. Oh, Leona, don't want to get caught out there. It's caught in the binding. Gets engaged now, gets oh. destroyed. LeBlanc gets the kill, and she threw down the solar play. This was not fast enough. And now this is a four man push up top lane. And Renekton and Jax will be dueling down bottom lane as Jax is looking for a push here. And the tower is still up though, so you'll have to wait a little bit just to get onto that. The block burnt Deathfire's grass right there, so she won't be able to burst a target on Glen Eagle that hard, but it'll still do a lot of damage. I mean, it's a lot. Like, yeah. Oh my wow. god, the chains and hit. I was so close. Yeah, the block is over the wall looking for fights here. Did I say this guy was crazy earlier? This yeah. guy's harassing them <laughs> next 
to their it's tower. Their base. What? Yeah, she might pay for this one though. Mega Fred about flashes away from it. Kill goes over to Lisa, but she's stepping on the bombs. The heel comes out. There's the Sonic Zagos coming in. She gets <laughs> over the wall. Another heel coming in. She's able to escape an overall engagement. But no, Caitlyn, she's in trouble. She gets sent up. She gets taken down. She got too close to the Renekton. and Lucian picked up the kill. But Jax is pushing down bottom lane still. As they trade one for one, and Hazen actually had to back out of the top lane push. I think Hazen is playing a bit over aggressive. I mean, harassing them in their base over the wall, that's kind of questionable. Yes. Yeah. Really aggressive. And now LeBlanc is acting trouble. She was the flash <laughs> little coming out. She was trying to farm under the tower. Whereas the T-Smart not get the base, and Lucian gets another kill for himself. And he might be starting to be a. Uh, something that Hazen had to watch out for. He's 6, 3, and 7 on that Lucian. He's, he's catching up to yeah. Caitlyn. Really, he has more kills, and actually, Jax looking to dive onto Ziggs. A little bit crazy there. Once again, he's looking for these dives under the inhibited towers, and he really yeah. needs to stop taking so much damage. He goes in. <laughs> oh, the flash coming out from Ziggs there. That, that the crazy, and actually, yeah. the Baron's coming down. It's getting taken over by Glen Eagle Secondary. While Hayes in high school, they had to all go back. Glen Eagle picked up the Baron, and now they will be backing out. And yeah, this is not looking good for Hazen here coming in. They've made quite a few missteps, I guess you would say. They've been playing too overly yeah. aggressive these past few fights, which too have cost them aggressive. to lose to lose too many <laughs> kills. Yeah, really definitely have been uh not playing as well as they were in laning phase. Coming into this team fight stage, they're just saying just being really aggressive, taking a lot of risks and not getting that much of a reward from it. Just lost the Baron over to Glen Eagle Secondary, and this will mean Glen Eagle Secondary is the second Baron of the game. Ejected for themselves, but I think most importantly, denied away from Hazen. Uh, yeah, I caught, I caught that Kale build. Nash's tooth into the Lich Bane. <laughs> Am I a psychic? The Feral Flare is all well there. He has another Blasting Wall. What's, what's he going for that? Should I get Death Cat maybe? Voice Sash? <laughs> oh no, you gotta guess it, dude. Which one? Which uh, one? Uh, <laughs> you, you too, options, too much yeah. pressure, dude. Too much pressure. Yeah, two options. Yeah, two options. Which ones? De death cap. Death cap. I, I hope you. I hope he does death cap. Death I'll be three for three then. Maybe three for three. Oh yeah, huh? Oh, it's, he's gonna oh. get it! Wow, you got it. He's wow. got the juicy large rod. Dude, yeah, they call me. They call me Riot Jet. The <laughs> crystal ball. Riot Jet. You got the crystal ball. Oh, oh my god. And Jack went for Guardian's Angel as well as Zanya's. He's. He He's is like just like fight. unkillable He's... Jax, but lately hasn't been having a huge factor. I think he's been sitting on nine kills for quite some time now. He's literally been sitting in a, in either top or bot and just pushing them really hard. He like he's creating a lot of pressure, but it's not as much as it was earlier in the game. Yeah, you know, obviously when you get late into the game, the enemy team has some time to catch up. But the fact that Hazen High School have been pushing on all three lanes, just kind of Glen Eagle have minions coming at them. So that they can just farm up, but now they're looking to get out of their base and possibly make a push. They're pushing out every single lane in this game here. I, f I feel like the only way Hazen can really make a comeback th throughout this game is if they find a pick onto Kale. If they pick Kale, she Kale will either die or burn her ultimate, which will make her unable to use it in the next team fight, which is really good. They really want to scare Kale away out of using her intervention because. If Kale gets intervention while LeBlanc is trying to 100 a, a, a target on Glen Eagle, then it, it wastes their entire combo. But if they kill Kale, then easy. Easy kills. <laughs> easy kills, easy life? Easy kills, easy life? Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. That's too much for me. That's too much for me. Why did I sign up for this? <laughs> oh gosh, that's a good one. Anyway, <laughs> I'm saving that one. Don't worry about it. You just say that one one day. Easy kill, easy life. Kill his life. Yeah, so dragon's gonna be coming down here. No yeah, another dragon for Hayes in high school, but I it's about what they do with that gold, and they're just gonna be going back after it. Probably wanna buy, but they need to start putting down the pressure that they had earlier into this game. Otherwise, it's just gonna be Glen Eagle secondary really making some strong plays. <laughs> I want that cap. I'm a, I'm a psychic, dude. Oh my god. She's next for her, dude. She has one more oh, item. I'm scared of this one. It's probably gonna be Banshee's Veil, actually. Banshee's Veil? You're using she's an offensive item? 
I can't go you, back. Are you sure you want to do that? A defensive item on the kill has been going all aggression? I mean, that's like the core kill build. Usually, I feel like that'd be what he's building. Well, we'll, I... see if she gets, uh, we'll see if she gets late enough to do that. So, going to go secondary. They push out some waves. They they're go just back. Yeah, they check dragon. It's not there. And they're really just kind of wasting away on their bear muff. It's about to expire. And they Glenn? have not been able to put it to good use. Yeah, it's actually gone now. So, they have not been able to put it to very good use. Glen Eagle really did get more control of the bottom side of the map. I mean, they've given up. I think about all the dragons this game, they haven't had any control over it, even after they got back their lead. And I feel like if they got had more dragon control, they could get more of a gold. They could catch up faster throughout this game. It denied the gold away from Hazen, and it also gave them like a large amount of gold as well. Since, especially since dragon's gold scales up per level now. Yeah. So. 40 minutes into this game, this game definitely has gone a little bit longer than I would have expected, especially just with how much of an early game lead Hazen High School had, ha uh, had. <laughs> and now they'll be pushing on for their pressure. They want to get this gap back going. Rollins can get pushed in by minions. Jax is up top lane once again. Middle lane is going to be the rest of Hazen, but Jax is oh, yeah. hit on by four members. He does leap away to reward. And will be able to escape, so nothing huge blown there, I believe. There's an exhaust from Leona, and actually the flash from Jax, he did get really locked out. He's going to be forced to go back to base. I wonder how that Zanyas is working out for him. I'm, I wonder what he's actually going to be zanyas in fights. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for the random ones now, so he's gone for the two AD items, and now he'll be, he'll be going for the three defensive items pretty much, so... It's an mm. interesting build, I think. Going for the Zanis is definitely a very interesting uh, I, I honestly want to know why he does that. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Banshees would have been a lot better, because yeah. he'd be able to take less damage from the Ziggs poke, maybe. Uh, yeah, or, as well. or, or Randuins. It's still the attack speed of Kale and Lucian, because he just He's goes... Now. Now, now he is, but yeah. he could have had that lot earlier. So, mm. once again, Hayes in high school, they're going for the push. They're just switching up the lanes here. What are they looking for? Just when they want to go in for a fight, are they just looking to see they're, the towers? They're, they're, it they're just looking to get a pick off right here because they're they're really putting a lot of, like a lot of emphasis on the block. Like, if they hit a binding right here, they they they're gonna hundred oh that target. And Jax is just playing top lane, so if they see two top, I feel like they'll go for a pick. But they're really looking for their binding. Like, look how safe Blind Eagle is. They they know what's gonna happen. Oh, the Leona goes over and low, uh, but doesn't go down. LeBlanc went over the wall, tried to get some harass there, but did half out that Leona, but she's a support, she's building pure take. And she also burnt that Fire's Grass right there, which is really bad for them. Yeah, so one had you know, the huge burst back to top lane, connected. I haven't I mean, talked about him too much, he's 2 6 and 8, obviously not the best, but he is building he, for pretty much pure defensive items on that Renekton. He's just soaking up all the damage during these fights. And it's kind of scary for Lucian in this game. There's a Baron, there's a Baron going down, there's a two-man Baron coming down, Lisa and Jax. I think they're going to be able to do it. They're there's no definitely happen. strong enough to do this. I, I hope Zigzom just steals this right here. Come on, come on. <laughs> they have Miracle. no idea. Glenn and second, they have no idea. They have not been able to get out of the base and ward it for the past few minutes. I, I wow, like... that was the easiest two-man Baron I think I've ever seen. Flame Eagle has no word control. No, but... over the wall! Kale for the ultimate! This is what you were talking about! Kale ultimate down! Baron buff for Hayes uh, uh, High School. I'm expecting the engage right here. This, yeah. this is where they have to engage. This is like the window of time where it's objective them dive. This is the formula for the end of a game. <laughs> Pretty much. They, have, they, they took down the ultimate that would deny kills. They picked up a Baron buff two manning it. And they've kept the pressure on all three towers. Glen Eagle secondary have minions coming in in all three lanes here. Literally no cut of slack and Ziggs gets down. LeBlanc just keeps going in looking for damage. Takes some herself. Uh, I want to see around. really how Hayes engaged this. Lee Sin oh, has so many different ways to engage. Jax is just taking the next damage which obviously isn't too much because he's all defense and he was just sitting on that inhibitor tower. There's a mega in front of him coming across. The tower does go down. First inhibitor tower of the game 44 minutes in. And the Frost Queen's claim used to disengage from the fight by Dango. Really, really good way to just 
back out because Leo was looking for the engage right there. He had Shrelia's up. He was he 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 wanted to kill him. Jax can get interrupted from backing here by two. He's looking to turn around to kill though. There's the kill ultimate coming up. He's still looking to trade though, but he's taking way too much damage. He's trying to catch up. <laughs> the no, he's not the He's the Zonius Hourglass, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just get taken down. There's the GA. All the defensive items getting blown here. He will be taken down. It looks like it's the stuns down. He has help from Lee Sin. He gets the way over to Lee Sin. Bottom lane inhibitor goes down. There's three members chasing after Jax and Lee Sin. Jax is still alive. I do not believe he is able to escape here. He will look like the Exile's coming up. He does finally go down, but was able to live going on for so long. Lee Sin now dashing away. He is able to escape. Bottom lane first inhibitor did go down. And looks like Hazen will be hightailing it out of there. But Jax, man, just making the great escape right there. Did, did go down, but really just took Got pressure it. off of, ha of the rest of his team. And they were able to take down the inhibitor. Wow, just that, that's not just paid off right there. Yeah. The swagger, the he, swagger. He he, he 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 delayed for Lee Sin to come and help him, but can they delay Glen Eagle? The burst onto Renekton, even though he's full tank build. Leona goes in, Solo Fair gets shot down, but there's the flash ultimate coming out from Regana. They're trying to get onto Kayla, but she is just putting out the damage, gets a double kill for herself. Now we'll be turning off for the rest of Glen Eagle's secondary triple kill coming up there. Is the ace in the whole Lucian looks like he will be able to escape, but the Hazen coming up big there, picking up four kills for themselves, and now gonna be pushing in here for the base. I think they wanna end it right here, but I'm not sure if they can end it with Lucian out. Unless Lucian gets caught out by the long I don't think this game's actually just kidding. Oh, they're it's gonna, it's gonna, it's there. They're going, I, they're, the they're going for it. They have forty okay. seconds left or thirty to forty seconds left on everyone on Glen Eagle's second day. They also have a wave coming in soon, like really soon. I don't think yep. Glen Eagle's gonna respond by then. This and game. They're actually just gonna tank up the towers. They're not taking Agro from the second tower, obviously. So they're positioning very well. They turn around, there's the ace coming in. 46 oh minutes into this game. Hayes in high school will be picking up the victory in the high school Star League group stages match. And this is, of course, our normal high school Star League match. It's going to be two games. So, guys, we'll be seeing you for game two of Hayes in high school versus Glen Eagle secondary. Thank you for watching, and we'll be right back.
Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the high school star league league of legends Spring season group stages. We're back here with the match between Glen Eagle secondary high school and Hazen high school Hazen high school up one to nothing in this match and just a bit of info on the how high how the high school star league matches work It's pretty much the same thing as OGN if the match goes two and zero the team that won the match gets three circuit points the team that goes, if it goes one and one, both teams get one point, and obviously if the team loses, they get zero points. And it's all going into their total circuit points, and then top two teams from each groups, uh, from each group, goes on to playoffs. And how summer playoffs work is that the top teams from the last, uh, from the last playoffs, winter championship, they play in the summer championship along with the new qualified teams. And they all play for that $20,000 prize pool worth of scholarships that we just announced. So, obviously, it is going to be really exciting for these guys. But going on into this match, I'm Crusader Kid in here with Shorter Race from Jackson High School, the second place team from the Winter Championships. God damn so... it. Second place is bad, dude. I don't know why. Either. Okay, but don't worry. This is wait. the last game. Don't worry about it. Anyway, game two. Game two for these two teams. Let's talk about these guys here. This is really interesting, actually. I'm hoping we see the lane swap coming in. Maybe the four-man push, the oh, buddy man, system as well. Happen, but it looks like Bottlemans are actually going back right now for the side of high school. So, so, I mean, Glen Eagle secondary. So, so for Glen Glenn Eagle, Glen Eagle, we're not going to be seeing a lane swap, but I wonder if Hazen's opting for the 4v1 lane. Actually, no, there's no Darius. No Darius. Yeah, and nobody they didn't run teleport as well. You know, yeah. what's, you know what's funny about this game? What is, what is funny? Yo, they picked Jax. They want to give him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to see this. I'm the sure that was like a first pick, Jax. I'm sure yeah, we didn't see. We don't have the champion select, but I'm pretty. I'm like. I'm pretty certain that would be a first pick, Jax. Anyway, rip up steals for both teams coming out. So we were talking about Jax last game. There was a Jax for Hazen High School. What went well for Hazen last game? Hazen played early game skirmishes really well. Like they. They did. They just did really well. They responded to the aggression that came out from Glen Eagle. Like during the tower, there's like a lot of tower dives that they out they outplayed Glen Eagle, and they secured so many dragons that game. I think they had all the dragons, like maybe besides one, from later in the game. But their early game, they played really well with all the objectives they secured, and how they responded. I think they had all the dragons. They just didn't have all the barons. One baron went over the Glen Eagle secondary, but other than that, they pretty much had dominance over all the objectives. And they, they felt lane, a little shaky. Bottom lane They're having dominance thinking. right now here, hitting level two first. We're able to get quite a bit of damage going down. But just you know, early game trades coming out. Top lane Darius versus Jax. What do you think of this matchup? I don't see Darius enough to be able to comment about it, but I heard he's a really good lane well, bully. Well, hold on, not to comment about it because Caitlyn goes down in the bottom lane. Nami. Gets the kill, Aqua Prison coming out there, picks it up, and here comes top lane, Vi's coming in for a gank onto Darius, this might be shifting the tides up this lane. Darius knew he was going down there, Jax picks up the kill, kills coming in 1-1 one to one in this game. So, Hazen's bot lane has been really dominant this, for the series. The first game, I'm pretty sure they got first blood as well bot lane, and they, they've been just performing really well in the series. And... Darius went down their, their last gank. I wonder how that lane's gonna go for him since the, Jax pushed the wave into his turret. Which was, this is kind of like the opposite situation actually. I think this happened last game to, to Glen Eagle. Yeah, Glen Eagle really lost a lot of early advantage because Jax was able to get a kill. It was unassisted up in that top lane. And we're actually seeing a different Jax will coming in. Last game we saw a Dorian's Blade start. This time he goes for a Dorian's Blade after he goes back to base. But he started with a crystalline flask, which is interesting to say the least. You don't see a lot of that anymore. But hold on, middle lane can't comment about that just yet. Oh, flashing the over flash. to get the vault breaker in there gets a lot of damage down to nearly forces the flash as well, but does not come up with the kill. And I don't think Darius really came out came out behind from that gank. He's he has double yes, attack yes, to yeah. Yay! I. I don't think the tower denied that much CS. Yes. This is probably Cannon new wave. The Cannon Minion probably took most of the tower hits. And he was able to come back in lane in time. That's really good for him, actually. Yeah, bottom lane, we might be seeing a gank coming out from Vi. She's actually looking for something here. 
From the tri brush, looking for a dive, it but, looks like they want to do. Shivana is in the area, but she, she doesn't know. Out. Yeah. Oh. She just missed the binding, so she might just be going back, and she may not be going for this. This is a this will be a really aggressive move, and actually will be sticking around. Top lane trades coming off as well. Jax taking some advantage. This, there's a bottom lane gank coming down. Vi's actually taking a lot of damage. Gets caught in the Aqua Prison. And there's the tower going to be aggroed onto Morgana. And Morgana gets really low after that dive. And they weren't able to pick up a kill. But obviously didn't go down themselves. And it looks like they will be able to back up. And I feel like that dive was really early. I mean, Vi is in level 6. So he didn't have the assault and battery to be able to lock down the bot lane. And even then, the bot lane was... All right. I think they had a lot of health. They they weren't like poked down as much. Yeah. Definitely not as poked down as you would normally expect from a Caitlyn Morgana. Really long range bottom lane. Really also like to take advantage of poking. You know, Caitlyn having the longest range of any carries in the early game. Ooh, top lane aggression coming out there. But also Morgana, you know, having spell thief, she just wants to spam out abilities to get some poke going down. But obviously, Nami has the heal. So, he's able to help out here. Middle lane, we're seeing a lot of aggression coming out from middle lane. She has a level 6, so this is probably why she's going for some aggression. But it takes a lot of damage in return for that, and is, uh, it's going to have to be a little bit careful. Nidalee hasn't gone back either, so... Oriana has a chalice advantage over here. Getting that extra mana regen. Going to be able to just put out some more spells. Perhaps, maybe? Yeah, so Darius goes back. This is actually the... He's going... The Psyche is going for the same stunning build he went for as Jax. Yeah, double joints blade and a long sword. So he's, I mean, even though he doesn't pick up the early first blood, he's still going for an aggressive build. And middle lane is again coming in. Shivana coming up from behind. They're unable to lock down that Oriana, and she will be able to escape oh, after that. And they're, they're, camping the they're camping the bush. Oh, yeah, there comes Jax and Vi coming up. They're trying to get out to, uh, to Shivana, but. Aren't able to catch up, and Shivana is able to walk away from that. Like I said before, Vi without solid battery is really hard to lock up targets. And let, let's take a look at these jungle jungler builds. I mean, they're both going for the Feral's Flare, and with Vi, the only time you build Feral's Flare is to do early Baron. So I'm hoping we're going to see one in this game, because Feral's Flare helps for her attack speed, which with her W. Her denting gloves, and yeah. it will help her take Baron with East usually. So I, I'm expecting the two man Baron from Jax and Vi this game. <laughs> yeah, like, we saw last game, but it was like 30, 40 minutes. It, it, I, don't, that, I don't consider that two man Baron. That's too late. Yeah. Too, <laughs> Young is, is too late. It, it's, it's too late. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I could do like a 90 minute two man Baron. Um, it wouldn't count. Could you do a 90 minute solo Baron? Yeah, I just play like. Trinomir or something. Trinomir <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh god. Top lane. Jax is on the very slippery slope here. Darius is actually looking for damage. Gets the dunk. And that was just a straight up kill for him. He was easily able to take that one. And that was just Jax being a little bit too far into that lane. I mean, he didn't he, hasn't, he didn't go back for a while there. And Darius just had the item advantage on him. You really got to give it to the Psyche. I mean, he got... He lost... Maybe a bit of CS late from getting ganked, and also gave Jax a kill. But he's just, he's holding his own lane. I mean, yeah. he just solo killed him after being down one kill. That's really big, actually. Yeah, it really shows his, I guess you could say, you know, confidence in his ability in this game. So, bottom lane, Lucian goes back, picks up a BS sword. Caitlyn went down earlier, so she's a, since she has a long switch, so she may not be able to afford to actually know that all changes because first time of the game goes down, Glenn Eagle secondary, pick it up, and Hazen, they're actually slightly behind in gold though, but still, they do have that first tower, they are able to get some global gold, and actually they might be wanting to go for a dragon here. And, they, since I went Medrez as well, he's, he's trying to get the dragon early. Yeah, and they're easily able to get it. Shivana was not anywhere near it. She was at the top, so... Look how yeah. fast they did that. Look how fast they did yeah, that. Oh yeah. my god. That take blows and <laughs> Madrid is such a good combo. Yeah, he has the biggest yeah. finish, so he is starting to stack up in that Feral Flare now. Which will be nice. I mean, not going to be the tankiest vibe, but then again, she lost some damage. I mean, he probably would have went Elder Lizard if he didn't go to the, yeah, the yeah. Spirit Stone. 
So, I wonder why he opted like to get not get out of this in. I mean, objective call is like a big thing, but I like the I like this cooldown reduction that Elder Lizard gives you, and the true damage. I feel like that's really big as well. Yeah. So there's an opt for that though. I guess it's a bit of a preference thing for him. Maybe just on the feral flare hype of it being so strong. I'm on the FKT one hype train. <laughs> Come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like about items. Like you talking about SKT one? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I all the hype trains, oh. baby. <laughs> Dang, we see the Nami roaming. And the Bali just roaming mid. I feel like they want to get the siege right here. What about that uh, Suido's high school hype train? Yo, right, shut up. Yo, 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 Darius is looking to be pretty aggressive now, I think. Uh, he has a Tiamat build, early build Tiamat, so he's looking to just push at this lane. And that's exactly what he's doing, pushing under this tower. Really against Jax, and Jax is not doing well against it at all. Uh, okay? <laughs> we see, we see Lai coming up for the gank up top lane. He's waiting for Darius to play really aggressive. Yeah, there it is. He actually flashes in there. There's the assault and battery we were waiting for. And it's the kill going in. And once again, we saw the flash vault breaker coming up from Vi and picks up a kill for itself from that top lane. So 12 minutes in, it's 2 and 2. I actually wonder if this is going to set the lane for Jax because yeah. Darius is a really big lane bully early. So I wonder if this kill will actually help him hold his own against Darius or if Darius is going to still control the lane. Yeah, like he has been doing. Didn't have too much effect on Darius. Second kill, maybe it'll be different, but Darius still tends to side of this middle lane. We're seeing a lot of aggression. These middle laners, I mean, it's Nidalee and Oriana. They don't have like the biggest high damage threat. I think you know they're a lot more for like Nidalee for poking, Oriana for team fights. So we haven't seen too many kills. And this pretty much just been a farm fest in that middle lane. Yeah, I mean, mid lane's been really passive these past few games. They almost have the even CS. They have similar builds, except Nidalee opted for the tier, so he really wants that Saris and Brace later in the game, and also that extra mana so she can throw more spears. Yeah, but looks like a middle lane push is on the hunt here for Glen Eagle's secondary. Top lane, Jax is getting his oh, trade off onto Darius. Flash away from Darius, but I don't think he can get away from this one. Jax is right on his heels. He tries to turn around. He does get taken down. And this might be turning up the lane up in that top lane. Meanwhile, middle lane, four man push from Glen Eagle's secondary means that the tower does go down there 2 to 0 in terms of towers. Now, really getting some nice advantages early game against Hayson High School. Dang, so that really did set Jax back in the lane. He was able to just straight up one on one Darius, unlike what happened earlier. Yeah. So. With that, really going to be difficult for the for Darius now up in this top lane. Obviously, tower going to get low here, and they might be diving onto Shivana. Actually, she's going to be trying to get out of this one. Throws on the dragon, does get taken down. Another kill goes over the Jax. He is three and one, and that is just a recipe for disaster. Jax getting a lot of kills up in top lane. Tower wave comes across, goes a little bit too low. Nidalee is putting on the pursuit here. Going to go into the cougar form. Stun does come out. Yaku prison doesn't land either, and they still continue on for the chase under the tower. The cooling will be coming out there for some damage, but they cannot lock down any kills. And with four members of Hazen High School up top lane, bottom lane's pushing again from Glen Eagle. And they have nobody defending the bot chart. I feel like Glen Eagle is going to be able to take that turret as well. And that's just, that's kind of a trade, but I feel like Glen Eagle got the better end of this trade. Yeah, they take the Indian Tower down 3-1 to one in terms of towers. Really, Hazen High School put up a lot of resources to try to get... Jax and uh, Shivana, but this kind of reminiscence the last game, game yeah. you know. <laughs> just flip flops, really, for the teams. They're, they're probably really mad about how big Jax got last game. 
Yeah. <laughs> Trying to show him the power. <laughs> I wonder how the psych is reacting to this. Yeah, Jax, enemy Jax definitely getting strong here. The leader star. But Bunny Lomo is actually taking some damage here, putting it on the sun. Tempting Forest is a flash from himself. Will be able to get away, but took a lot of damage. Used the ultimate and the flash to escape. Lomo. And Dango getting that tracking control. It's going to be up in about five seconds. And he's he's just warding around. That's really big. If you see these past games, like they always had dragon control. Yeah. Dango has had a lot. Has really good ward control in his lane, and towards dragon. Yeah, the jungler is actually in red buff right now, though. So, I mean, the last dragon went over Glen Eagle secondary because he's in high school. Didn't have it. Uh, the jungler there to uh, attempt to steal it. And now it looks like they may want to change that up. Shivana will be coming in here, and a lot of pings coming out from both teams onto this dragon. And they're really going to be looking for this objective because he's in high school. They're slightly behind in gold. They really want to make up for all the lost towers. They have top lane tower yet another tower goes down. When you go secondary, 4-1 to one in terms of towers. Hey, Shona has barrels. And Bai has wriggles. So if they fight right here, Hazen will have the advantage in terms of damage because yeah. Shivana has an, a huge item. Well, it's not really an item over, it's just more an upgrade yeah, over. Top lane though, Jax gets the kill onto Darius, slightly under that tower there, but that's just the power of the scaling Jax. Saw last game, we're seeing in this game, apparently it doesn't matter who's using it, but still, just the Jax power coming off. The Colin coming off onto Orianna for some damage, doesn't land any kills, but does get a nice amount of damage. As Glendigo Secondary still look to continue this pressure onto the middle lane. Dang, they really took it into their hands to try to put the psych behind this game. I mean, yeah. Bai has been t top twice, and only one of wait, both of them have put Jax put Darius behind. So that's really big. Last game they didn't really put much pressure on the psych, but after last now game, here comes the newly taking a lot of damage from oh. all sorts of places. Gets taken down, and it's Vi with the kill, six to two in favor of Glen Eagle Secondary, and this is a very different game than what we saw from last game. That's pretty sick, actually. That Nami wave almost... I mean, he, he, he stopped CC, the but wasn't able to get... wasn't able to save in the middle, and this is Glen Eagle Secondary pushing it. Plus one. Yeah. And... Hazen can't respond to this, actually. They have... They don't have the greatest of wave clip with their team comp, actually. They don't even have the team defending the tower right now. It's just a five-man push uncontested. For what is Wake there? Yeah, inhibitor tower taking 18 minutes in. Last game, this is a star contrast in last game in terms of ejectors going down. Last game, first inhibitor tower is like 40 minutes in. Glen Eagle secondary picking up 18 minutes into the game. So one of the problems with running Nidalee is that if you want to run Nidalee, you're going to have to siege on the enemy. So if you get behind... It's going to be kind of harder because you don't have that great of wave clear compared to other champions that you could be picking, like Ziggs, Ziggs, Gragas. I should not have a Gragas anymore. I haven't played Gragas for a while, but. No one plays Gragas anymore, really. I mean, don't see a that's, lot kind of, of that's kind of rude, dude. I mean, <laughs> Gragas is you know, crazy. I mean, it's, it's why Scar yeah. got kicked off of uh, Digging Toss because Scar is just gone. Like, I mean, he did call the I Baron. Because Gragas is just gone. He, he, he did call the Baron, you know. He called the Baron and from, like. A year ago or something. I'm not sure that. And he got kicked a year ago. Later, Scott. <laughs> He's back. He, is he back? He was back for playoffs, but. Uh, anyway. That, yeah. So so <laughs> yeah. What what the problems with like, Nidalee is the wave clear, especially when you're behind. So you want if you play Nidalee, you have to like siege or something, or at least land some spears. But she was dead before, yeah, so she couldn't like try to pressure them while they're pushing. Yeah, and I really like. Glen Eagle Secondary, they have that ball delivery system that Oriana needs. I mean, you're you playing Oriana, you want to think about how you can get your balls just deep into the enemy and give them a huge shockwave. <laughs> and they have Vi that's just perfect at just diving into the enemy, getting around all of them, and just I mean, has that ball delivery system. They're, they're jungle balls. Try to, try to <laughs> get that ball. <laughs> oh my god, it's perfect. Hold on, bottom lane junglers. Some fights coming around, but 
<laughs> there is Jax up at top lane. He's trying to slow down. He flashes and under the tower, getting after Darius, picks up the kill. And he's out now on a rampage. And uh oh, Shivan is in a lot of the trouble here. He gets taken out balls with the kill. And Hades is trying to respond to this by pushing down mid lane, but in response, they're probably going to lose down top. Jax taking the tower, but yeah. they trade. One for one, but they lose an inner. This is like literally outer. the Jacks we saw last game, but on a different team. It's like it's almost as if they do like maybe just like switch players. Like yeah, like, like switch players. It's like yeah, let's just switch top laners. Or and he'll, he'll, he'll play they, Jacks again. This is, and the this is pretty much what we saw last game. The Sykes not having a good time this game. Not I mean, he's been getting bullied all game. And he's not on a standard top laner either, so it's a little bit more difficult, I think, to come back. With the Darius top lane, it's kind of surprising. It's kind of it's kind of surprising though. After, like after he was able to come back from the gank, he got so behind off the off the third. Yeah. I mean the second gank. Like it's kind of surprising to see like how behind he can get off one gank. I mean he just he was just psyched out. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so done. Oh, so. He's 1-5, uh, definitely very different from last game, and this is difficult for Hazen. Do you think there's a way they can come back into this game? Because right now it's not looking good for them. I feel like if... If Glen Eagle makes a mistake right here, but X by getting either, like, picked by Nidosphere on either Kate, Oriana, or Morgana, they can make a comeback. But with their, com their comp is really unusual to see. I mean, they're... they're Crowd control is really low. I mean, they have Nami. They have, they have not. They, they have Nami, and like, I, I, I wonder how these fights are gonna go actually. Because Shivana, Shivana and Darius don't really do as much yeah. as Oriana, Vi, and Jax. They have. I wonder what Darius does to fights actually. He, he probably peels off, peels off Felicia maybe with the, the. E. <laughs> yeah, but then it's just he this has to make... peel off uh, the Jackson and Vi, which is obviously very difficult. I mean, obviously like Nami people will be there too, but there's really not a lot of synergy when you think about Hazen's team comp. They have Darius. Who I mean, does Darius fit well into any team comp? Darius. Yeah. Maybe on like Katarina comps, you know. Hold on, flash away here. They're chasing after Nami. This is a dead fish. And it's just so. Oh, wait, maybe wait, not. Wait, no, I lied. Wait, it's a, it's oh, a life fish. She, she, she hopped eat. right out of the furnace and actually into the water. And Falls, like, thinks it's too aggressive right there and backs out. Kind of a smart move. He would have jumped into a Darius, and that might have not been as good. Yeah, they didn't have their whole team to, to back them up either. Caitlyn and Morgana and Oriana just took down the bear, uh, dragon, so there you go and back off, decide that they uh, they live for another day, or let the fish live for another day, and Bunny Lil actually just takes a spear to the face, so he's out of commission, possibly. Oh no. And... and Bunny Lomo. So... Lomo. <laughs> <laughs> so, all the waves are pushing for Glen Eagle, it's gonna be really hard for Hazen to defend. I feel like what Glen Eagle wants to do right here is Clear out Baron, get wards all over. So if they mm -hmm. see Hazen try to interrupt their Baron, they can respond to it. But right now, all the waves are like in favor of Glen Eagle. So I feel it like that. Be, I, I think, it would be the best thing we could see. What? If Dota, Elite Star, and Jax copied the Sykes build on Jax and he went was on his eye glass. Shut up. <laughs> oh, that would be like that'd be like transcending like on the corner. That's that's the it. most bad manner thing I've heard in my life. <laughs> I'm not even that bad manner. There's more bad manner than you calling me out. <laughs> <laughs> so actually look at the kills that have gone to Glen Eagle this game. Yeah. Eight of them on the top and jungle. I I am really feeling literally the all of them man. on the top and jungle. I, I'm I'm literally feeling the Man, Baron. Two man, Baron. Um, I, I, I thought it was like give me fifteen <laughs> minutes, but my call's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the crystal ball now? Yo, shut up. <laughs> I, I lost Wait, it. You, you're the one who brought it up last game. Yeah, it like, broke like my heart. Broke. Aww. Fresh hearts and broken dreams. <laughs> okay. I, I remember that day. I was thinking about <laughs> taking one of those selfies, and I was like, "Wait a second, Not I'm gonna regret this." 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't get that. Yeah, uh, I didn't, so I didn't take one. Oh anyway, belts coming out. <laughs> Kaylin, 0, 1, and 2, 225 CS. Most CS in the game. Bloodthirster, Last Whisperer, almost Phantom Dancer. Lucian has, doesn't even have tier 2 boots. He has two, two thirds of a Trinity Force and a Bloodthirster, so really behind here. And that kind of goes to show how Glen Eagle secondary. You know, even though they don't have any kills in their AD carry, they still have a lot of farm injective gold as well. So, really looking good, but. Hayes in high school being really aggressive while being defensive. They're trying to back them away from the base. He's the calling aggressively there to take him out, but it's gonna be so difficult to try, uh, for Glen Eagle Second to find entry into the base. And we see the siege coming in from from Glen Eagle, and they really want to get this hit. But yeah, the here's the engage coming in. Hazing jumping in there. Oh no, I mean, Glen Eagle jumping in there, getting the kill on the Hayes, and nearly goes down so quickly. And that was the ball delivery system we the were ball talking delivery about. System. The ball delivery system on balls there. Really two two balls? Two balls? Two balls? <laughs> yeah. How can there be two balls when there's only two plenty people in the world? Oh, but they're jumping in here. There he is. He gets the kill. Shivana actually gets that one. Tidal wave coming across. They're getting onto Jax. He's locked up under the tower. He can't do anything. He does pick up a kill before going down. Now Vi wants to rejoin the fight here. There's a flash of binding lands onto Lucian. Throws in the tormented soul. Heal's coming up big right there, though. And now, oh, Lucian actually flashes on the wall with the aggression, but he'll pay for that one. Goes down quickly, and Onami's the last one alive for Hayes in high school. He goes down, Nilly has actually respawned, and is looking for something here. He wants to jump in. He's looking for some damage on two Vi, but doesn't quite do too much. And that was a three for four exchange in favor of Glen Eagle secondary. And... Or a three for five, actually. Glen Eagle, it just it shows... Those are lead. I mean, they're just playing so aggressive. Like how f they dove the top turret and was able to pick up an ace off that. That's really big. I mean, Jax was locked down for like the the bubbles duration, one, about 1.5 seconds, and it wasn't able to do anything that that whole fight. Yeah. But even then, they still won the fight completely. Yeah, the the rest of the team really was just super ahead at that point. And, but it's still, they were able to lock down Jackson, as you're saying. Wasn't too much of a big deal, obviously, because the rest of the team is doing well. Looks like yeah. Jax is now going for a giant spell, so Rando and Zoman, I'm going to guess. Hey, that's disappointing. I want to see the Zanyas, dude. You want, you want to see the DM? The Zanyas, Mishnayil Shmitar. He didn't go for Makiro's. I, 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 I thought he would. I thought he would. He's, I thought he goes GA now. It's not VM though. GA is... Wait, what? No, it's not VM though. Yeah. So <laughs> he, really... goes, he goes to the normal build. Doesn't he, go he's, to the he's a nice aggressive. player. Nice player. Yeah, he's a nice guy, obviously. Good, good player. He has Dota Leader Star in his name, so... I mean, he's, he's for equal opportunities in games. Because HSL also, we have Dota 2 and StarCraft 2 and League of Legends. You can check all that out. Uh, yeah, they drink Baron. On their website. But yeah, here's the 3-man Baron, not quite the 2-man Baron. But, I mean, but I, where's enough, Jax? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they probably get two uh, of that with Jax, definitely. Yeah. They could do it without Jax, but like, they walk past the pink horde. Yeah, they did. That I mean, that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, no, no. Okay, Oriana. All right, she can. She sees everything. She can hear me, dude. <laughs> she can hear me. She's a machine. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, the clock would be. Oh my god! It just keeps ticking away. <laughs> Oh, and Shibata is wow. going back. <laughs> I, oh, hold on though. Lucian is actually really cut out here, right outside of his base, and he'll go down as Vi jumped in there. The kill does go over to Bunny Loma on Morgana. Top lane inhibited tower goes down. Jax is pushing down bottom. Shivana wants to dive in here, but she's all alone. Shockwave whiffs, but the tower does go down. Bottom lane Nidalee now wants to engage. gets blown up there, and it falls with the kill. Now Shivana's trying to run away. Caitlyn picks it up, and this might be the game here. As Glen Eagle secondary take down three members of Hayes in high school. They take down all three inhibitors, and they're moving on to the Nexus Towers. And this is looking to be the end of this game here, the end of the match as well. It's going to be one to one in favor of no teams. Both teams get one circuit point, and they will be Glen Eagle secondary, really just coming back into this game a different team.
Dang, I mean, I wouldn't expect this outcome because of last game, because last game, they got dominated really early, yeah. but this game, they turned the tides around against Jack, I mean, against Hazen High School. It was, it was really good to see for them. Yeah, so guys, that's going to be it for this series, obviously, and as well as the stream. So everyone, thank you for watching the High School Star League League of Legends Spring Season. This was Glen Eagle Secondary versus Hazen High School. It's been Crusader Kidding casting for you guys with Shorter Ace. And uh, it's been a pleasure casting for you guys. So before we go, I want to shout out, of course, to the High School Star League and our social media website. Uh, hsdarlig.com is our website. You can find more information about what we do. You can see the three games that we host, Dota 2, League of Legends, and StarCraft. You don't know why I said it in that order. But also check out our Twitter, twitter.com slash hsdarlig.com. Our Facebook, facebook.com slash HS Star League, and our YouTube, yeah, we're not, youtube.com slash High School Star League. You can check out everything there. We'll have our VODs up. We have more information about what the High School Star League does. Also, want to give a shout out to our sponsors, providing $20,000 in scholarship money to uh, the top teams from each three games. So, that being Twitch TV, New Egg, MSI, Jinx Apparel, and Razor, as well as SC2 Replay Stats. Obviously, thank you to them. Check them out. You can find more information about who sponsors us at hsdarlig.com, our website. So, everyone, thank you for watching. If you want to find me, it's been Crusader Kitten with Shorter Race casting for you. You can find me at twitter.com slash Crusader Kitten. Shorter Race, where can we find you? You can find me at twitter.com slash Shorter Race and twitch.tv slash Shorter Race. I usually stream a lot if you want to watch me play. Yep, so, guys, thank you for watching. I say this behalf and all of the high school starling, me, myself, Shorter Race. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, we'll see you all in the field of justice.